Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Nadeem Academy. Today we will be talking about the second important factor of production and it is labor. So let's take a look for the definition first, what actually labor means in terms of economics especially. So we have two definitions, we will be talking about the both and uh, so that we will have a complete idea regarding what actually labor means. So first one is it means physical or mental work undertaken for monetary reward. So this first definition includes two important points in this definition like number one physical efforts of any human being. It denotes that the physical work undertaken by different people for example if a person is a laborer or the one who is uh, semi-skilled or non-skilled employee in an organization is producing something right there that is a physical effort he'll be using more physical effort and mental efforts using the mind or mental capabilities so usually when we talk about the top management they use the mental efforts more as compared to the semi-skilled or unskilled employees so human beings usually use both their physical efforts and their mental efforts as well in order to complete their work and in return they get reward it means they get salaries wages a bonus etc so that is the particular reward for any individual this was the first definition of labor let's take a look for the second definition labor means all human efforts of body or mind again the same concept which are undertaken for material reward so the definition is quite same the words has been changed so you can go and define it uh, as you want but it must include physical and mental efforts and the reward that a person is going to get after completion of any work any task or providing the services that's all about the definition of, uh, of labor let's take a look there are various characteristics of a labor as well so first one is labor is perishable Whenever we talk about labor is perishable, it means we are talking about the services provided by an individual. Once that individual is providing the services, you cannot go and store these services right there. So services usually once provided perish. Fine, like a teacher is teaching in the class and once class is over, its services are perished. You cannot go and store it, fine. Then a lawyer, uh, is in the court and uh, fighting the case then once the case is over he has given his arguments in front of the uh, judge his services has been perished you cannot go and store that that is why it is considered as labor is perishable the second important characteristic is less mobile when we talk about it is less mobile it means we are talking about the comparison labor's comparison with capital capital is more mobile capital means machinery or the technology you can carry machinery or technology from one place to another place quite easily but labor usually individuals don't want to lose their job that is why they are immobile people usually try to become uh, the permanent employees of the organizations where they are getting the rewards salaries or different benefits that is why it is considered as less mobile as compared to the capital then third bargaining power now bargaining power totally depends on the education experience and expertise and the skills of an individual you it, you, you you might think about a person who is very skilled highly qualified experienced or something that individual might have huge or wonderful bargaining power a strong bargaining power he can bargain for the salary a lot because he knows that his skills are not available in the market he is the one is the unique one but the individual who are not having any particular important and good degree experience or the skill then that individual's bargaining power becomes quite weak because that individual don't want to lose the job don't want to remain unemployed so that is another characteristic of labor labor is active factor as we discussed in terms of land land was passive factor by labor is an active factor 
labor directly works uses his physical efforts and the mental capabilities and completes his work and the task fifth one is difference in efficiency as we know that all human beings are different few are very competent and efficient others might be mediocre others might be you know uh, the simple and they, they, they might not be that much skilled and efficient so that is why every individual's abilities are different efficiency is different fine uh, one individual can be more efficient what is efficiency means efficiency actually means using minimum resources and getting maximum uh, output that totally depends on again the knowledge experience and the expertise so every individual is different so efficiency is also different dear friends I hope you understand what does it mean by labor and what are the characteristics of labor so like comment and share this video subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for upcoming videos thank you very much